Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the easy problem from lead code. The problem name is maximum number of balls in a box. So the problem statement goes like this, that you are working in a ball factory where you have n balls numbered from the lower limit to the higher limit inclusive. So what you can see is that you have n balls numbered from the lower limit to the higher limit. Now your job at this factory is to put each ball in a box such that the box with the number equal to the sum of the digits of that particular ball. So whatever ball you have, you have to do the summation of all the digits of that particular ball number and whatever digit you will get eventually, uh, you will take that particular total sum, whatever total sum you got and put the particular ball in that box which has the total sum. So you have an infinite number of boxes. Okay, there are a lot of boxes. Now your total problem boils down to that you have a lower limit and upper limit of what is the n balls you have. You just have to assign every ball to a box and then you have to return the number of box, the number of balls in the box with the most ball. So whatever is the most amount of balls in the same box, you have to return the number of maximum number of balls in any box possible. That, okay, that's all problem statement. Let's take a small example. Let's take that you have n numbers. Okay, n numbers such that you have the lower limit as 1 and high limit as 10, which means that you have balls from 1 till 10, and you have to take every ball one by one from 1 till 10. Let's 1, 2, 3, and do the submission of all the digits in that total number. So this is the ball number. Okay, this is the ball number. Now let's take the first ball has the only digit as 1, which is 1. Now you take that particular ball and put it inside box with label as one so you have a lot of boxes as well and you will keep on doing that until you have finally the frequency of every box like how many balls they are stored and you just have to find out the maximum of them now though you have infinite number of boxes but what is the maximum value you will be getting okay and as you can see that it is and you have five which means that, that like what you can observe is that i can get at max like uh numbers which has let's say like five nines let's assume so nine by forty five so which means that maximum to maximum you can get uh you can say if you just add all the nines okay you can get a ball you can get a box with all the nines and thus you can get a maximum let's say 45. just take a buffer also let's take 50 60 number so which means that in the worst case scenario also whatever ball you will get the total sum of digits of that particular ball will not be more than 60. so what you can do in this problem is just make a vector of array or oh, sorry an array of vector. you can say an array in which you will take the size of the array as 60. Now these are continuous boxes, which you can assume that these are boxes itself. Now for every ball from the lower to the higher limit, find out the sum of the digits. And then whatever is the sum you got, take that particular ball and assign to the particular box. And then finally just find out the maximum value of balls in any particular box and just print it out. Pretty much simple. That's the logic for this particular problem. Let us move on to the code part so to do it, make it more clear. What is you can observe here is that we have an array or you can say a vector of box which is of at most 16. Now what you can do is that you will just do a for loop from the lower limit to the higher limit. Okay. Now taking every ball into consideration. Now for every i find out that is the ball you can say digit of ball number. Now find out the sum of the digits of that particular ball number. You will call this function that is digit sum, digit sum, sending out this i and whatever digit sum you got you will take that particular digit sum and for that particular digit sum you have this array okay or you can say vector in that take that and particularly assign that particular ball to that particular box okay and increment the count that i've taken this particular ball which has a total digit sum as let's say any number and then corresponding to that box just increment the number so that i put that particular ball in that particular box now i have all the balls assigned to a particular box now in the end you just iterate over all the boxes one by one and just find out the box which has the maximum number of balls too. Pretty much simple. Pretty much just return on the number of balls in the maximum case possible. Now this function is just used to find the sum of digits of the number that you have. So just iterate over every number or every digit what you can say. So you will just take the digit that or you actually just take the number let's say 257. So you, you just take the last digit out. 257 to 7 digit you will take out. Add it in total and then divide the number by 10. So now the digit become 27. 257 so 7 is removed so 225 25 number is remaining and then for 25 again take out the last digit so this is just a simple function to take out every digit one by one from the number you have 
and add it in total so that in the end you have the total that is the summation of all the digits in a particular number pretty much simple function as well which is used to find out that and this is the whole overall code to find out the sum and find out the actual boxes which has the maximum number of boxes now the total time capacity for this particular problem is that you are doing a for loop here which is o of n this is, this is not very large you can say depending on the problem so remember it is o of n and then for every o of n you will find out the sum of the digits okay of the total number you have which is like a very small which is like constant time only you can say okay because it's uh, maximum value 5 so 5 years so almost constant time so this is constant only so this is a for loop and then again you are doing a for loop so total is o of n only so that's the overall time complexity for this particular problem as well and that's it that's the logic and the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention it in the comment box of this particular problem i will see you in an FLD coding and bye